Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a tutorial. Uh, if you notice my audio may be a little better. I've got a brand new uh, blue mic, a snowball mic. Works really good. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a tiny town effect uh, or a tilt shift effect, which is where you blur the foreground and the background to make it look like you're looking down on a tiny little toy village. Uh, or a macro effect. Uh, it's actually really easy. So what I've done is I've got a picture here in an aerial view of a castle. Uh, has good uh, foreground and background and we're going to uh, get the effect right in here on this castle in the middle. We're going to make that the uh, focus uh, and we're going to blur the other stuff and it's just creates that look. It's like an optical illusion so it makes it look like you're looking down on something tiny little thing a tiny little toy village so it's really easy so what we're gonna do is I made a copy of this uh, layer to work on okay what we're gonna do is we're going to go into uh, mask mode and then I'm gonna choose the gradient tool and on the gradient tool I will choose the reflected gradient so it's gonna do a bar all the way across if you look see it looks like a bar now I'm gonna grab from a little over center all the way down to the bottom of the picture so it's gonna put a bar right across this part which is where we want the quote-unquote focus to be okay so I'm gonna grab a little higher than center go all the way down to the bottom there you go now see it made a mask now we go out of quick mask mode there you go now these parts uh, that are surrounded by the marching ants is what is going to be affected and the center is not going to be touched so now what we're going to do is go to filter blur lens blur uh, this works a little better than Gaussian Blur. I just kind of learned this effect not too long ago. Uh, I kind of like the way it looks. Gaussian Blur is a little too heavy-handed. Uh, lens Blur is a, a little more realistic. So, okay, we go Lens Blur. Okay. And the radius, uh, don't do too much because if I do it too high, it just, see, it blurs it out too much. Okay. Uh, you want to do it judiciously. I like about somewhere between 10 and 15 this is a pretty big picture by the way this is like about a I don't know a thousand pixel picture at 120 dpi so anyway so there we go I got the radius at 15 I really don't have to touch anything else actually let me blur that just a little more and see what it does yeah right about there okay so I've got that at 19 why don't we make it an even 20 20 there we go okay so I gotta do on that click OK applying filter there we go now select deselect okay now can you see that effect it, it actually when you look at it it's it's like it almost makes you dizzy can you see how it's blurred back here it's blurred down here and right where this little tiny castle is it's all nice and sharp so it looks like you're looking down very intently on something like a little tiny tiny toy tiny toy I can't even talk I sound like a guy from gold member toy like a toy guy a tiny little toy town okay then we want to artificially make it look you know, like it's not real you know because we're supposed to be looking down on something that's a little creation so we're gonna do an image adjust vibrance okay gonna make the this will make the greens pop out and make them look just almost artificial not too much we don't want it to go too far we just pop it up a little more than than normal okay so there's what the original picture looked like this is from a pretty high aerial shot looking down on some random castle I don't know where this is at there's the effect okay let me back this out all the way so you can see there you go it's just that easy it's not that hard let's uh, zoom in on that it actually looks better when you when I'm close in okay so there's the foreground is blurred the center of attention is nice and sharp and the background is blurred and that's all there is to it got your tiny town little castle little toy town little tilt shift effect look up tilt shift on the internet if you don't know what it is I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial just threw this together at 3 o'clock in the morning I was bored and I couldn't sleep alrighty once again this is Chris with CCG sales Thanks for tuning in, and uh, comment, thumbs up, let me know what you want me to do.
and I'll try to do it. Alrighty, thanks. You have a great evening. Bye now.